Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Lauren. I'm a homeschooling mom of three girls and today we're going to do a lesson of the Abeka Kindergarten Language Arts Program. I have used Abeka for both of my daughters who I have taught to read. Actually, all three of them used Abeka. Um, my oldest did it in a uh, Christian school, but my other two I have taught to read with the Abeka Language Arts Program. And so I have shared that. I share that on my channel. And so I get a lot of questions about it. So I wanted to do an in-depth kind of do a lesson with us and show you how we do it and how it works for us and kind of how I make it my own. I really think that especially programs like Abeka, you would do best to kind of try to see how it can work for you. You don't always have to fit everything to a T and, you know, do the curriculum 100% as it is. And so I want to share how I make it a little bit different and how it has worked really, really well for us and why I recommend it. I'm not gonna do an in-depth uh, flip through of all of the curriculum. I have made a separate video on that. So if that's what you're looking for, um, I'll have that video linked down below so that you can check that one out. Today, we're just gonna do a lesson and what that actually looks like getting into the day-to-day -day of it. And then I'll just kind of also share, like I said, how we kind of make it our own and how it works for us. So let's get right into the video. Here are some of the components for the kindergarten language arts. There is definitely more that you can buy, but this is just the, what we have and kind of what we use and works for us. So I'll start over here. We have the basic phonics flashcards. There are 132 special sounds, and this is for grades K to three. Now they're not gonna be doing all 132 special sounds in kindergarten. Um, I think they do maybe 50 or so. So don't let that intimidate you. They will work on them throughout uh, the next few years. So first, so we have CK would say K as in duck. There's a picture of a duck. And then on the back here, there are some words that have that special sound in them. So neck, quick, etc. Some of them have teaching tips. The teaching tips are either for yourself to kind of keep in the back of your head or for your child to let them know what that tip is. So E as in me, and then it would have uh, words on the back to practice. So whenever she's learning a new special sound, I will review it a few times and then she'll read the words on the back. So as you can see, these are yellow. There's different charts. These are broken up by the different charts. So those are yellow. These are blue. She's finished with both of those and she is actually on to the orange ones now. So we do these every morning. That's our first um, that's kind of like what we do as a warm up. We review these and just build on top of whenever she learns a new one, we just add that into the rotation. All right, Lola, so go ahead. CK says K as in duck. E says E as in me. Say real loud. O says O as in go. Y says I as in fly. Hopefully you can see that, okay? <laughs> A Y says A as in play. Okay. S T says T as in stop. B R says pull as in play. F R says pull as in vlog. T R says pull as in play. S H says shh as in set. Says fall as in spring. And S C R says saw as in shout. No, not sure as in shout. S C R says skirt as in scream. So, um, the, Abeka has two different types of cards. They have the cards where it says S C R scream or whatever the special sound is and there's a picture and she likes that. She hasn't said it, but I've picked up. She likes it because she can, if she doesn't remember, she can look at the picture and get a, a hint. So, but as you could see, she looked at the picture of this time, didn't quite get it right, but they do also have clue word cards and the clue word cards, it would just be a big card of just like SCR. And that was, that would be it. it. That would take up the entire card. And that way, and then on the back, it would say scream. So that way they can't just rely on the picture. They would have to actually look at what the letters are and then, um, and then be able to remember it that way. So you can do, you can have both. I just have these. Yep. I just have, um, 
I just have these and it's worked out fine. The, I like these because it does give some practice words on the back. Um, so you could do one or the other or both. They, the book, the lesson plans calls for both. And so I don't have the clue word card. So I usually just skip that part and it's fine. This is a new one. This is, okay, Lola. O-R says or as in morning. Can you say that? O-R says or. All as a morning. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn it over and you're gonna read some that say that, oops, I did two. We're gonna turn this over, okay. So OR says OR, okay? So read these words, okay? Born. 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 Born, good. Corn. Corn, good. Learned. No, Learned. not learned. No, there's no N. La. Or wand. No, not learned. La or d. La Lord. Lord. Good. North. 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 Yeah. Horn. No. Or horn. Horn. And unicorn horn. Unicorn horn. Cutch. Ch. Remember says ch. P orch. Watch. And I just noticed our lovely, this is when our kids were little, um, decorated the box. I've just never updated them. So there's that. And then this one is AR says R as in star. Can you say AR? AR says R as in star. Okay. So we're going to read these ones. Okay. It's this one. No, AR says R. K Car, car, good. Barn, barn. Is all charm, charm, very good. So these two were a little bit, I think, a little bit more tricky than some of the other ones. Like S L, that's a little bit more organic. It's she can kind of sound that out. So some of the easier ones she's already gone through and now she's uh, moving into a little bit more of the difficult ones. But again, we review these and go over them and we either do um, the readers or the handbook for reading, which is going to incorporate review. So it's going to be lots of repetition, lots of learning the same special sounds, a lot of um, they work synergistically together, which I like about the Abaca program because all of their components yeah. work really well together. So after we do the phonics flashcards, she reads either out of the handbook for reading or out of these readers. Now this says uh, grades one to three, um, and I've ad asked, gotten asked a few questions about that. And all I can say is that my oldest daughter, again, when she was in kindergarten, these were all her books. Her kindergarten teacher of 30 years um, had them do this. So even though it's technically not for kindergarten, as you can see here, it's absolutely age appropriate. It starts with short vowel sounds, it goes into the consonants, it blends, it does blending and then words. I taught my middle daughter how to read out of this book. So again, I'm not gonna go into this entire book um, because I have a whole video on this, but as you can see here, so this is chart six. Those were those special sounds I was just showing you. CK says K as in duck. So you could do the charts this way. You wouldn't necessarily need these um, phonics flashcards if you wanna do it this way and just kinda, that's how we did it. Um, with my other daughter and it worked both works very well that you you could do either one and then what it's going to do is see cases as in duck spelling hint they're going to have some practice and then read a little a little story and it's going to do one of those for each of the special sounds so either we'll do a page out of that or we'll do some of these readers and they are in order of so this is I learned to read they're obviously a little bit easier Going up to I do read, they're a little bit more difficult, and then I can read well. So this font is smaller and their the sentences are more complex. Today she is going to read Pond Fun. Bites to the pond. How did I know it's pond? I don't know. Now, see. No, it says it's a sight word. Says. Says. Luke. Yep. I. Like. 
the ducks. No, not ducks. You're just guess. You're just looking at the picture. Read the word. Mm -hmm. Okay, read the word. To toads. Good toads. Yes. To Pam. To mm -hmm. Now we're doing letters and sounds. This is the worksheets that go along with. And so I have her do. She was doing just like one a day, but then I realized we were kind of getting a little bit behind. So now she does two pages a day, which isn't really that bad. So she'll do this today. And then hold on, Lola. And then this one is she's got to circle the special sounds. So again, it's reinforcing those sounds that she was just doing. So like PR for press and then mark the vowels. So whether this is a long vowel or a short vowel, it's a, if it's a short vowel, it'll have a little smiley face. If it's a long vowel, uh, the line over it. So she'll do that. And then circle the words that have the special sound. So she'll go through there and circle the words. And that will be the two pages she will do today. Well, Sometimes she can do these independently. Most of the time we do them together. Um, it just really depends on the day. Break to the so, what does ST say? St and then OR we learned was or. Store. Store. Luke blank to the store. Is it went? Mm -hmm. Well, you can't circle it because then we're not going to, you got to write it in, okay? Write it in. She still writes a lot of times in capitals. I don't really correct that at this point. I'm just focused more on, you know, getting everything right. And then that'll kind of correct itself. I've learned with he, my other daughters that they did the capitals, but it, they eventually yeah, do it in lowercase. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, go ahead, Lola. He yes. got uh -huh. a, a big, big what? What? What did he get? Uh, what does TR say? Drum? No, no, no. As in drum? Yeah, well, DR says dur as in drum, but we're not there yet. We're at, what does TR say? Tr. Ak. Truck. Good. You got a big truck. As in like a vehicle truck? Yeah, as in like a vehicle truck. Does that one have SM so sm as in smoke? No. What about that one? Does that one? Okay, what about that one? Hmm. No, nope. what about that one? It's a pattern. Yeah, it is a pattern. Let's do this one. Hmm. SN says so sm as in snack. Hmm. Mm -mm, not bug. Good. Okay. All done with Still that. Still a pattern. Still a pattern? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here's just an idea of what we use. I didn't include the lesson plans because we don't really use them. Um, I kind of use them sporadically throughout the year. I'm honestly not a big fan of the kindergarten version of their language arts lesson plan. So I, again, I don't use them faithfully day in, day out. However, if you do want a video on that, I certainly can make one. Make sure you leave a comment if that is something that you're interested in. Um, but I just wanted to show this to kind of lay a foundation of like what are, um, what we do and what tools we use each day. I hope you found this video to be helpful and that it gave you more of a picture of what our day looks like when we are doing the Abeka Language Arts. We, I 
I love it. I think it's great. It's amazing. And it works so well together, especially I love how all the parts work succinctly together to make one complete program. And it is, has worked fabulously. Please leave your questions down below if you need any clarification or if something, you know, I didn't explain something correctly. Um, please let me know down in the comments. If you thought this video was helpful, please make sure to hit the like button. And if you want to see more homeschooling content and content just like this, please make sure you stick around and subscribe. Thank you so much. I hope you have such a wonderful, wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.